so the most unfortunate thing happened while I was doing my latest video. Fortunately, I was able to get all of the video that I had out and produced. with my Seagate external drive. This is a four terabyte drive and it just suddenly quit working. I had just transferred a bunch of my backup videos and files to this drive and Windows told me, hey, there's an input output error on this drive. So now all of my YouTube videos and all of the a bunch of pictures and all that kind of stuff that are on here are, they seem to be locked out. Now I can take it apart and I've watched a couple of YouTube videos already about how to, there's a little controller inside here. Essentially this is a hard drive within, within a box. And so there's a little, S, uh, I call it SATA I think is what they call it, SATA to USB. Uh, controller inside here and I might be just might be able to just get another one or I can even get my voltmeter out and see if there's a, to see if there's a, a bad diode or something like that I don't know that I'm going to worry about that too much but I would like to get the information that's on here recovered so I may go get me another drive since I had a lot of video on this now I have seen at Costco they have eight terabytes for about the same price that I got both of these are about 120 bucks something like that for an eight terabyte drive so I may go get that so I can keep all my video on it and then I'll try and recover this so that's gonna be fun anyway that's what happened in the last couple of videos I'm editing the ride video now that that you're that you've just watched or that you're about to watch fun things you gotta love technology even the backups die sometimes okay so today I'm headed out I'm actually going to ride the Velo. It's kind of warm. Upper 80s, 90s, something like that. I don't remember exactly. But anyway, I, I need to go out and get some stuff because we're doing this. So, having to top off the pool from the well makes it so the house, the whole house filter tends to clog up pretty quickly. I didn't, of course, run it all at once. An hour on, a couple hours off, it still tends to run the well a little bit low um, since we haven't gotten a lot of rain here in Virginia lately. So off to Lowe's to get some filters for the house. This is going to be the first real ride, just going out to ride and go where, somewhere and do something with the new schlump. And we'll see how it goes. All right, so getting used to the schlump drive is going to take just that, getting used to. because. Uh, got a, uh, too many things in the cockpit. Don't drive distracted, kids. Some of it is, is I gotta get reconditioned to riding again. I've been doing other things instead of riding, so I've gotta get my muscles back in shape. It shouldn't take too long, because it's not like I waited two or three years or over the whole winter or anything like that so anyway nice new roads out here that's good and I have to say riding with the Flevo is not so bad now that I've got the new mini visor installed that helps a lot Although it does give some weird currents inside the velo and pushes the hair into my eyes. Maybe I should get a haircut while I'm over here. I don't know. Alright, here we go.
great ride. Now, even though it's not quite perfectly ready, I think I'm gonna go partake of some of that. Because right now it just looks really inviting. So here goes. Thanks for watching, and until next time, cheers.